Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Coder's Medical Coding Classes. So today I am doing a CPT video, MOS Surgery. Okay, this is a topic from Integumentary System of CPT and this is one among the important topics of this Integumentary System chapter. So this MOS Surgery is also known as MOS Micrographic Surgery. Okay, both are same. So now, first of all, I will explain you what is this procedure with the help of one picture. Okay, the explanation and all is not given in detail. Uh, this is just for you to understand the procedure. So this most micrographic surgery or most surgery, this procedure is performed in order to remove a visible lesion from the skin. Okay, this is mainly done for the purpose of uh, treatment of skin cancer. Okay, so the procedure is as follows. You can, uh, in the figure you can see there is one, one is given. Right, you can see in that, that first a thin layer of tissue is removed. Okay, first a thin layer of skin is removed. Okay, and this thin layer of skin that is removed is placed under microscope and it is examined for uh, any cancerous cell is present or not okay if cancerous cell is present there means then again the procedure is repeated which means another thin layer of skin is removed okay you can see that in figure number two okay and after removing a thin layer another thin layer that layer is also placed under microscope in order to check for presence of cancer cells if cancer cells are present means again the procedure is repeated that is another thin layer is removed from the skin and it is placed under microscope to examine the presence of cancerous cell. This procedure is repeated until a final layer of cancer is removed. Okay. Uh, once, uh, once we remove a thin layer and is examined under microscope and we get whole healthy layer of skin means the procedure is terminated. The main advantage of this procedure is there is very minimal removal of normal healthy skin. Okay, so this is most micrographic surgery procedure. It is a unique procedure performed by surgeon who acts as a pathologist, which means the surgeon who is removing the skin, the same surgeon is performing uh, the duty of a pathologist, that is to examine the cell under microscope. Both the duty of a surgeon as well as pathologist is performed by a surgeon alone. Okay, now I have given uh, two terms there, stage and tissue blocks. So, in the CPT book, when you take the codes for uh, more surgery, you can see these terms, stage and tissue blocks. So, what is the stage and tissue blocks? The stage is, in the previous slide, I have explained you that first layer of tissue is removed, second layer of tissue is removed, third layer of tissue is removed, like that, right? This each layer of tissue is removed. That procedure, each procedure is known as one stage. Okay, so the first layer of tissue is removed means it is stage 1. Then the second layer means it is stage 2. Then the third layer of tissue is removed means it is stage 3. Okay. Uh, now in each stage the removed layer will be having small small tissues which is known as the tissue blocks. Next how to pick code for more surgery. First one is identify the body site. Uh, so, in the code description, you can see it as head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia or any location with surgery directly involving muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessels. These are classified into a single group. Okay. And you have another group which includes trunks, arms or legs. So, first you have to identify which is the body site and it will belongs to which category of codes. Okay, and second one, identify how many stages. So, I have already explained the previous slide, what is stages. So, you have to identify how many stages, stage uh, 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, like that. Okay, then last, identify how many tissue blocks in each stage. 
So you have to identify the number of tissue blocks in each stage. And one more point that you have to keep in mind is while taking codes, up to 5 tissue blocks is included in one stage. If more than 5 tissue blocks means all the remaining tissue blocks that is above 5 is counted separately. Okay, and it is having separate codes. Okay, so this is an important key point while taking codes for this small surgery. Okay, so uh, now we will do three examples so that the idea will be very clear for you. First example, three stages of more surgery perform for a lesion on neck. Stage 1 have 5 tissue blocks, stage 2 have 4 tissue blocks and stage 3 have 4 tissue blocks. This is the question. So, what is the first thing that you have to note? Identify the site. So, what is the site? Site here is neck. Neck is the site. Right. Then the second one, identify number of stages. How many stages are there? Three stages are there. Okay. Then the third one, identify the number of tissue blocks in each stage. So the first stage have 5, stage 2 have 4, stage 3 have 4. So all of them are below 5. So nothing extra is there. Right. Now you can take the code for neck. Neck is included in the first group that is the code is 17311 where you can see the code description as most micrographic technique uh, and in the fifth or sixth line, sixth line you can see head, neck, hands, feet. So neck is included in this code. Okay then in the last line, you can see first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. So, for stage 1, your code is 17311. Okay, now you have 3 stages, right? Hmm? You have 3 stages, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. Your code for stage 1 is 17311. Now, your code for stage 2 and stage 3 is 17312, you can see the code description as each additional stage after the first stage. So, you have how many additional stages? You have two additional stages. So, you need to give 17312 into 2. Okay. So, hope the first question is clear for you. Then the second question, two stages of more surgery for a lesion on arm. First stage of 6 tissue blocks and second stage of 5 tissue blocks. So, the three things you have to initially find is first one is identify the site. Site here is arm. Second one, number of stages. Two stages are here. Then number of tissue blocks. Stage 1 is having 6 tissue blocks. That you have to keep in mind. It is having more than 5 tissue blocks. Which means the extra one you have to keep separate. Okay, it is noted as 5 plus 1. Okay, then stage 2 is having 5 tissue blocks only. Okay, now go to the codes. The code where arm is included is 17313. Most micrographic technique. That second last line you can see trunk, arms or legs. Okay, this for the first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. So, this 17313 is the code for stage 1 up to 5 tissue block. But the stage 1 is actually having how many tissue blocks? 6 tissue blocks is there. Okay, so 1 is remaining which we will calculate at the end. Okay, then the second stage is having 5 tissue blocks. The code is each additional stage after the first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. The code is 17314. Okay, so our codes are 17313, 17314. Then you have one tissue block remaining. Right, that should be given the code 17315. Most micrographic technique, there you can see the second last line. Each additional blocks after the first five tissue blocks, any stage. You have one additional blocks in the stage one, right? That is given this code 17315. Okay, hope it is clear. Now we will do one more example. Two stages of more surgery for a lesion on upper part of leg. Stage 1 is having 7 tissue blocks. Stage 2 is having 5 tissue blocks. So here 
which is the site it is leg then stage 1 is having seven tissue blocks stage 2 having five tissue block right so the code for leg is 17313 Okay, stage 1 up to 5 tissue blocks. So, stage 1 is having total how many tissue blocks? 7. 5 is included in 17313. Then you will have remaining 2 tissue blocks. Okay, that you have to keep separate. Okay, then for stage 2 you can give 17314. Okay, so our code will be 17313, 17314. Then you have remaining 2 tissue blocks which you can give as 17315 into 2 because you have 2 additional tissue blocks. Okay. 17315 into 2. So, hope this more surgery is very clear for you. If you have any doubt regarding this more surgery, means you can ask in the comment section of this video itself and I will be answering. Thank you.